Hello guys and welcome back to another industrial foregoing tutorial and in this episode we will take a further look to the hydroponic bed and the hydroponic bed is created by two plastic, one dirt, two iron hose, one fertilizer, two gold gears and at least one simple mesh and frame and the hydroponic bed you will need for that uh, some ether gas and the um, the ether gas you will get out of a stasis chamber with a spawned river um, which um, the st stasis chamber will uh, hold and freeze the, the river and on top of the river you need to set up a fluid laser base with a purple um, purple laser lens um, inside of the fluid laser base to create out of it some ether gas. We will pump out the ether gas uh, to this uh, little tank. We can see we already created um, nearly 2000 millibuckets ether gas. And um, yeah, that um, is um, how you can get some ether gas. And the uh, hydroponic bed is um, part of the aquaculture system in industry foregoing. And um, if we take a look on the top side, we can see it's farmland. And it's uh, similar to the garden glosh of immersive engineering a bit. And um, yeah, let's take a look what we can do. We have um, different types of um, seeds in our inventory. Um, we we can't use some flowers like poppy or something else. That's that is not working. Um, you can't also you use some botania flowers that also didn't work. But you can use um, different types of seeds, carrots, potatoes, sugarcane, and so on. So the Minecraft basic stuff. Okay, if we set up some seeds, um, you can see um, it will it will, will grow a little bit but not that much. To increase the growing, we need to um, power it up uh, with a creative energy cube, for example, or s just set it up on your energy network. We will need a, a, logistic, a mechanical pipe, not a logistical, logistical sorted um, transporter. And we need a pipe uh, to uh, pump out some um, water out of this tank here. So we have uh, some power and we have some water in there. We see actually nothing happens. Okay. And um, if I use some bone meal on this wheat seed, we can take a look. Uh, normally it should be that um, the hydroponic bed will automatically farm up these wheat seeds to create um, one seed and one wheat, but um, that doesn't work. Only if you put in some ether gas, um, it will automatically work. So um, we can see we have put in some ether gas here um, and we can see that the, the, the wheat seeds are um, farmed up by the, by the hydroponic bed. But you can also use the creative fluid tank like that and um, you just connect it like this way, but make sure um, don't um, Make sure we call it here a gas, but industrial foregoing has no gas support. So at least it is a liquid in industrial foregoing. Um, so you need a mechanical pipe um, or a fluid pipe or something like that to transport in the gas. Um, and um, yeah, we can see uh, our hydroponic bed is working. We have pumped in some um, ether gas and um, we are working we are growing up and it's a it's a fast machine to um, grow up some um yeah some wheat or potatoes or something else and at least um to pump out in your um, resources you can uh, set up a chest and um, you need a logistical transporter uh, transporter at least um, set up the directory as um, export and you can see that our um, our wheat and wheat seeds are stored into our chest so maybe you could, could um, replace this chest um, as your inventory system or um, something or storage system or something like that. Yeah that's all to the hydroponic bed. I hope I could tell you something about it. Thanks and bye.